Well, let me explain you why do we need a default methods in interfaces with an example. Well, consider in your project you have this kind of hierarchy like you have interface and you have multiple implementation classes which implements the interface. Okay, so consider in our example we have a shape interface, it has a draw method. So basically, draw is an abstract method. And here we have rectangular, square, and circle. So these are the three implementation classes of shape interface. Now we have a requirement to add one or more methods to the interface. Then what will happen basically? The implementation classes should have to implement those newly added methods. For instance, let me add one method over here. Let's say M1. And M1 is an abstract method. So all the implementation classes have to override this method and provide the implementation, isn't it? But my requirement is like, I need to implement this method only in rectangle and square. I don't want to implement this method in a circle. All right, but this don't allows us to, you know, unimplement this method in this circle, circle implementation class, because this is abstract method and we have to override this method and provide the implementation. Otherwise, we will get the compilation error like this. Isn't it? So in order to deal with this kind of issue, a default methods were introduced. So once we use a default method, what will happen basically? The default will, method will be automatically available to all these implementation classes. We don't have to override the default method. Okay, for example, let me qu quickly create a default method over here. Default wide M1. So this should be default. Okay, let me put one sys out. And let's say m1 default method something like this now this m1 default method will be automatically available to rectangular square and circle okay so in this way the default interface method will you know resolve this kind of issue and default method will automatically available to all the implementation classes therefore we don't need to modify the implementation classes okay so in this way backward compatibility is neatly preserved without having to refactor these implementation classes so this is why the default methods were introduced in the interface okay so default method is mainly used to preserve the backward compatibility okay so once we define the default method in the interface that default method will be available to all the implementation classes we don't have to you know add the abstract method and forcefully implement in all the existing implementation classes right so i hope you understood why do we need a default methods in a interfaces well let's go ahead and let's create an example to understand more about default methods well we are going to use the existing project so let's create a new package and let's call it as default static hit enter let's go and let's create a new class let's call it as default demo all right now what we're going to do is we're going to define the interface and within interface we'll define couple of default methods and within a vehicle interface we're going to define few of the abstract methods and few of the default methods let's first define the abstract methods let's say get brand so this is going to be a vehicle brand let's say one more abstract method let's call it as speed up similarly let's create one more abstract method let's say slow down all right so all the vehicles basically have this kind of you know interface methods right now let's go ahead and let's create couple of default methods well in order to create a default method we have to use default keyword followed by the return type of the method let's say string and then let's call method name as turn alarm on something like this well to keep it simple let's return some string from this default method let's call it as turning vehicle alarm on something like this all right so let's go and define one more default method let's say default and the return type of the method is string and then turn alarm off all right and to keep it simple let's return a string 
रिटर्न टर्निंग टर्निंग व्हीकल अलार्म ऑफ समथिंग लाइक दिस ऑल राइट सो दिस इज हाउ बेसिकली क्रिएट द डिफॉल्ट मेथड्स इन अ इंटरफेस सो वी बेसिकली यूज द डिफॉल्ट कीवर्ड ओके एंड वी डोंट हैव टू स्पेसिफाई द एक्सेस मॉडिफायर हियर लाइक पब्लिक स्टैटिक पब्लिक प्राइवेट प्रोटेक्टेड बाय डिफॉल्ट द डिफॉल्ट मेथड्स यूज पब्लिक एज अ एक्सेस मॉडिफायर now let's go ahead and let's create a class which implements vehicle interface so let's create a class over here let's give class name as car here which implements vehicle interface and if you can see here we have defined three abstract methods right so this class should have to implement these three abstract methods so let's mouse over it and click on implement methods and by default intelij ide will choose all these default methods over here so turn alarm on turn alarm off so these are the default methods we don't have to override because the default methods already provide the implementation so we don't have to again override and provide the implementation isn't it so go ahead and click on okay well to keep it simple let's return some string for this get brand method let's call it as bm w okay and speed up so let's return some string like the car is the car is speeding up something like this and similarly let's give return type for slow down method as car is slowing down something like this perfect now what we have done basically we have created a class which implements vehicle interface and we have overridden get brand speed up slow down methods and we have provided the implementations right well we don't have to override these default methods in a car class because these default methods already provides the implementations isn't it and these default methods will be automatically available to this implementation class all right so let me demonstrate how these default methods will be automatically available in a car implementation class so here what i want to do is i want to create a main method and within a main method let's go and let's create an instance of car class i am going to use here vehicle interface reference okay perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the abstract method first let's say get brand okay and then i'm going to call speed up method and then call get or slow down method okay so these are the abstract methods that are automatically available because we have explicitly worded in these methods and we have provided the implementations isn't it now let's see how the default methods will are you know automatically available to this car implementation class so here what i am going to do is i am going to say vehicle dot turn alarm on and turn alarm off okay so these default methods are available to this class okay so let's call turn alarm on and then vehicle dot turn alarm off all right so it means that the default methods we have defined in the interface automatically available to its implementation class right so here you can see turn alarm on and turn alarm off so here we are using you know interface as a reference variable so if we use car here this also the same all right so by looking into these two lines of code we can clearly see that the default methods we have defined in a vehicle interface are automatically available to this car implementation class all right in this way we can preserve the backward compatibility so whenever you you want to define some functionality then you can go ahead and define in a you know interface by using default method you don't have to forcefully override the method in a implementation classes all right so this is how basically we create a default method in a interfaces and this is how we call the default methods using implementation class object okay now if you run the program this should work okay so we haven't printed anything so let me quickly put the sys out and let me print the result of these methods so let me put the sys out and let me pass this call okay so let me similarly do it for all these method calls 
sys out and then pass this method call and similarly put sys out over here and then simply pass this method call and put sys out and simply call this method call now we are good to run our program and there we go the vehicle brand is bmw speed up it returns the car is speeding up slow down method returns the car is slowing down and turn alarm on method returns turning vehicle alarm on turn alarm off method returns turning vehicle alarm off okay it means that the default methods are automatically available to its implementation class all right i hope you understood how to create a default methods in the interfaces and how you can call the default methods all right great